What is the best weather in Minecraft? You wonder. Of course. It is the rain. Because we are Dark Thor. <laughs> that is our villain name, guys. We are Dark Thor. So wait a minute. Why I stopped here? Yeah, that was suge suggested by you, Dark Thor. <laughs> I love it. Dark Thor, right? You get it? Thor, the god of thunder, Dark. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I actually just stopped here because I saw a blue parrot. And we want it. I wanna have a parrot. I've never had a parrot in the game ever. I always got super unlucky. So now I flew over this um, jungle here uh, because I'm on the way to a big gravel pit, Cupfin pointed out. And I want to get there and yeah, make sure to get enough gravel for our future project. He said it's massive, so definitely want to check it out. So give me some seeds, come on. Seeds, seeds, seeds. How many do we have? Five? Yeah, I'd rather make it a few more. Okay, so okay, let me take that out. I saw it right here. I was just waiting for my recording software to start pretty much and then we wanted to capture it right away. It must be here. Birdie! What the heck? Yeah, he was right there. Ah, dang it. I want that bird. He wouldn't despawn. Uh, there he is. I think I see him. Ooh, yeah, there's two of them. Whoop. Two of them, even. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Come here, funny guy. Where you at? Oh, here. Don't be so elusive. Come here. Yes! Best friends forever! Hop! Nice! Come on my shoulder. Okay, we want the other blue guy too. So nice, we finally... Hey! Come on! Um, hop! Okay, we need to tame him. Let's get all the sweet, sweet seeds here. Wow! I'm sorry. <laughs> we need a good name for him. So I once had a bird when I was a kid. It was like a parrot like... Dude, seriously? Okay, one seed. It was a parrot like um, bird too. And his name was Booby. And I think we're gonna call one Booby. Hey Booby. No, rather this guy. He looks like Boobies. More similar. Hey, hey. Come here. No? Man. Why do seeds have to be so rare? Yeah, come here, guy. No? Yes! Good! Now we got two of them. <laughs> ah, those birds are just too great. Okay, how do we get them home? Will they teleport to me? Like any other animals? I'm pretty sure they would. Here, come on my shoulder. There he is. Can we have two on my shoulder? You can! Oh, wow. But as soon as I jump, they go off. No? Okay. Stay with me, guys. So can I fly with them attached to me? Oh, they're gone. They don't like the jumping that much. Hop, hop. Dude. Oh my god, okay, we need to get out of here. Birds, let's go. Yeah. We really need to get out of here. Phantoms cycling all over us. Can we get try to get an aerial battle with the phantoms going on? I wish I had lightning now. But... Where are they? 
yep, it's a very bad idea to do an area battle with them. If you if you die out here, it would be not funny at all. Let's get out of here. They're chasing me. I need to find a safe place here. This village looks good. Just hope the birds come when we touch ground. Alright. Let's get in here. Birds. Um, why are you ran running away in panic? Where are the... Where are the birds and where are the phantoms? They're sure not with me. So we got some birds now and they are lost in this jungle over there. We flew away in panic from. Hmm. Interesting. Will they come to me if I take damage? Oh, there they are. Oh my god, the sound is so terrifying. I have the audio up. <laughs> Yo, I just panicked. I just listened to the new Judas Priest album, Firepower. Oh, and that screeching, dude, that just... Oh, it's terrifying. Ow, you son of a... If we have stronger armor ones and we know where we at... Yeah, we will definitely take on them, take them on. If we are, you know, at our home island and they come for us, we will take them on in trying to get an um, aerial battle with them. Where the heck are they? You always hear them screech. Ah, there they are. You stuck at the mountain up there? Seriously? Whoopie boy. Hard to hit him when they were far up. But dude, no idea what, where our birds are now. Stupid phantoms, man. It's an enderman freaking. Oh, seriously. A bunch of zombies coming in. Quite unpleasant. Well, I'll wait until it gets daytime and I hope we can get our birds back. That would suck. Oh, Zuma joined. Maybe he'll sleep. But I kind of don't want him to sleep. Birds. The birds were somewhere here in this jungle. Oh, I think this lava pit was where we. Yeah, yeah. We left from here. Should be safe here in the in the forest too from the phantoms. Oh, hey guys. Yeah, we found them. Okay, Sizuma slept. So, um, if I want to bring them home, I guess we have to take a boat ride with a man and take it slow. I don't think they can teleport properly if you're out of the, you know, if you unload these chunks and if you're far away. So I guess before we go to the gravel pit, we need to bring these birds to safety. That is, that is what we really need to do, two of them. If you see a red one, we take it too. You want to stick around here in the jungle for a sec? Just check. Oh yeah, and it seems if we are a bit further out here, and how they teleported, nature kind of recovers a bit further out. We see very, very, very rarely we see a squid. Because yeah, we are far away from the pollution of the main island, but around the main island there is no life anymore. It's all dead. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try to find a way out of here. We are quite far away from main island actually and I'm looking for direct connection to the waterways. I think we could go this way and then try to sail around. 
There they are. Okay, do we have wood? I have a little bit. It's good enough to make a boat. I also bought two more shulker boxes. Um, because I wanted to fill them with gravel, you know. But right now we don't need to do that. So if I walk on them, they come up. So will they stay on my shoulders if I'm in a boat? No. Can they get themselves in a boat? I always wondered. That would be hilarious. Yeah, you are so nice. I love them. They are just stupid. Let's see. Alright, so now all we need is the ability to hook boats together. You know, then we could put them in there super easily and transport them. Now, what do I do? If I get in, you know, the boat is taken by them now. They are trapped here. Hmm. Yeah, I have, I literally have to ride the boat back. I don't see no other way to transport them. Only hoping they would teleport. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, relax. Okay, we made it to Mount Gravel here. Cup discovered this. He said it's this vastly extensive gravel field and he was definitely not wrong. Wow, yep, there is gravel here everywhere and this is several layers as well. So I guess we start shaving off here. Yo, this is crazy. This is, this is gravel paradise here. Look at that. This is, is this all, is this all layers of gravel up here? This is amazing. Yo, bird, stay out of my way. If I hit you with the shovel, you're dead. Like your friend. And then, yeah, at least we have one problem less, how to get back from here. But I really want to keep the bird. Yeah, it's several layers. Nice. Well, uh, yeah, it's graveling time. I'll stick around here for a while and gravel everything. Why is he making skeleton noises? Where are you picking that up from, boy? Hmm? You've got integrity, right? But I feel like I feel like at the same time the expression there that he misses is. out on something that change, man, change is like it's all that's ever gonna happen. Every so Zizuma is live streaming. What is he doing in the portal there? And I told him I need a flower he need to bring me. Oh there he is. Thank you, guy. <laughs> Got you back, baby. Got you back. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> I'm getting better with my pufferfish skills. <laughs> ah, Booby the bird is with us again. <laughs> Man, <laughs> look at that thing. I gave him a little thing to sit on for now. We'll we'll give him a better place in the future. But you know, Booby, he was dear to our heart. Um, he was with us for the whole five minutes, <laughs> and in this five minutes, we closely bonded. It reminded me of my own old bird, so we couldn't let him die again. So here he is, Booby. <laughs> Oh, this isn't he adorable? We gave him some water here to drink. And yeah, he should be fine. And he has a nice view out on the bay. <laughs> Man, yeah, here is his name tag. You know, we'll stick around. Booby. <laughs> oh, yeah, he'll get a better place in the future. The other bird is here. We managed to bring him over. Right, Bluey? Yeah, that's Bluey. 
Um, but turns out having a bird around is the most obno obnoxious thing. So phantoms came, right? And I was trying to fight them and the guy constantly got in the way. So I run up to here, jump through the portal, phantom follows me and goes through. Yeah, go through. That's a good thing. So I thought, hey, wait a minute. Let's see. So the f went through, right? And the phantom was stuck in here. So I prepared something. We have the glass here. The next phantom that comes through here, we're gonna trap, and we're gonna trap a few, and we're gonna name them. And then we will see what we do with them. But we will build a nice habitat for them, and then we will have the the crazy phantoms, the crazy phantoms. But the thing is, can are phantoms then persistent if we name tag them? That is the big question. Do, you know, they burn up in daytime, so I don't think they just despawn. They would burn up. So if we, you know, shelter them, name tag them, maybe they become permanent. Who knows? Well, permanent is for sure what we have done here in the water biome. Let's go. Whee! Yeah, I worked a bit more on our skeleton here, our giant Leviathan skeleton. Dragon, probably the, the mother of all dragons here. And yeah, kind of started to blend it in further into the environment and made it a bit more rugged. We'll look at some details. But it's just a very nice dive through now. You know, you come down here in case you come diving here in the resort and then you have this nice experience. So yeah, I broke some ribs for example here. Whoop, we're out of the radius. Broke some ribs for example here, right? And the rib is laying right there and then some of the pi uh, piece of the spines is missing and it's overgrowing and we got bubble columns in there. And yeah, the idea is the thing crash landed here or kind of, you know, was moving forward and then crashed into the ground when it died. Maybe it was dying in a battle or from natural causes, we don't know. But, you know, and then it pushed sand forward, right, and piled up um, sand here. And in the process, while crash landing, maybe broke a bit of the jawline here, you know. Um, probably had a strong neck, that's why the neck is still intact, but we can see a crack here too. And, you know, in the cracks and crannies, the yeah, sea flora is taking over. We got some sea pickles. Here we got another broken rib. So you can swim in here. And then there's a missing rib there that fell down. You know, it's decomposing. And then here towards the end, there's also some cracks visible. And we can see the tail going along here and kind of, yeah, resting on the ocean floor. So I also imagine the thing had a long tail, right? And when it came to a dead stop here, the tail kind of flung forward and therefore, yeah, kind of yes, just came to a halt like this. And then also slowly is disintegrating and we have a bit of bigger bones in the back and then towards the tip of the tail, we are thinning it out a bit. So this is what we got and I think it's all right. Um, I saw some comments, people saying it looks a bit unrealistic, you know, when it's so straight and so on, but it's a bit of a Minecrafty style. We were not going for super realistic. You know, this is Minecraft style, straight lines, and it fits into the theme. I didn't want it to be so super demonic or evil, like, uh, more like almost cute uh, and fitting with the, with the theme, and I think we achieved that. And then, of course, now it also makes more sense, right? Some said the skull should maybe rest on the floor. That would have looked cool too, I admit. But my idea was this crash landing thing and then it kind of stuck in here, right? And piled up a bit of sand. And I guess then now it makes sense from a quote-unquote lore perspective. And yeah, the corals are obviously also spreading over Good news for corals in 13.1, um, those will be replenishable by bone mealing corals. You'll be able to get them, or lukewarm biomes, I think. So that's neat, so we can use them for building as we will be able to replenish nature uh, here in the habitat. So that is really cool. But yeah, I like how this turned out. Mm, really cute and, and nice, I think, in the end. With the bubble columns now, 
it almost looks like something you know you would put into an aquarium and we will hopefully have more of these sites you know around our lagoon here pretty much um, some people said ships are also you know sunk by yeah uh, sunk to create structures for um, yeah, corals to grab a hold on and grow there it's definitely something we probably want to consider too um, we have the old shipwrecks though there is a, f a few around here already so you know maybe a bit of a more modern ship we'll see didn't I just see a drowned back here still of course ocean life is vanished um, I did some more research though and I'm pretty sure I tracked down the main source of the problem right it would probably be um, Cub he has this factory. I'm trying to get a hold of him and I'm trying to fix the problem with him. We will go in and, and hopefully install some filters also and make sure the water is um, safe there. And then we should slowly but surely hopefully see at least parts of the ocean population coming back. Uh, but at the moment looks grim. Everything dead still. Don't want to blame Cap alone but you know Funneling toxic water into the ocean unfiltered, probably not the best idea. Okay, let's see. Is tonight a phantom night already? I touched my, I touched my bed, so I reset my phantom timer. We might have to hang in there another night. Ain't that right, booby? <laughs> uh, this thing. I, I think this is the most adorable thing I've ever made in Minecraft. <laughs> Booby. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, he looks like this fluffy furry ball of love, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, the wings. <laughs> oh, that thing kills me. Yeah, I don't think we will have a phantom night tonight. Um, so I'll wait. But hopefully, hopefully, we'll get some soon. Yeah. I think we found a good place for Booby the fat bird. That thing, man, it kills me. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> so now I have the head on tilted a little bit. Also, for some reason, uh, you know, it must be, you know, because this is a haunted ship, right? As soon as I put the guy on here, it seems to come to life. Listen, I mean, come on, birdie, say something. Huh. Yeah, good bird. Yep. So yeah, he's alive again. In some weird way. Super creepy. Also, our other parrot, Bluey, vanished. We released him into the wild again, right? So that solves that problem. He was annoying anyways. Okay. Um, ooh, yes. Yeah, Zuma White is working on something over there. It's a big cup fan statue. That looks like cup. What? Why is he building a cup fan statue? The polluter and... The polluter of the world? That looks like Cuphead. <laughs> Alright, who? What? Why is he staring at this? is some mysterious stuff going on again. Okay, we need to get back to the island. We might have Phantom Night. I hung about a few nights. So hopefully it is Phantom Night. Then we need to try to catch him. That would be so glorious. Imagine if he had phantoms as, our, as one of our attractions. Come on, man. Get tried in it. Thank you. Much appreciated. Alright, let's head back. S <laughs> the hub is still utter chaos. But I assume we're getting there at some point. Okay, right now we just have Javin on, actively on. Biffa is AFK. I think he's AFK fishing probably to restock his shop but at the same time exterminating all the fish we have in the oceans so yeah I cannot support his business anymore my latest enchants I bought and everything always at iTrades he does it the way it's meant to be you know holding innocent villagers in captivity and making them uh, you know breed and sell books that's what they are made for and they are completely happy with that so there's no 
no issues with that. You might know, uh, me personally, I also have a fond connection with villager trading because, yeah, on a big scale server back on the Minecraft, I was pretty much one of the first who, you know, showed it on a bigger scale and uh, making people understand that villager trading back then already was completely overpowered. And with the book trades these days, it's even more. So literally, if somebody would ask me, you know, if I, I want to start a technical world and I want to have a good start, what do I do? I would tell them, dude, make a villager breeder. Make a villager breeder, get them book uh, trades ready. Um, if you're down for it, make a bit of a mass production of carrots or something. So you can get these uh, nice emeralds and then go trading, man. And then you have a head start you want. You put your tools together, put mending on that, and then you go from there, all problems solved. So that's... Villager trading is es essential in my book when it comes to Minecraft. Okay, that was weird. Dark. Let's see if you get phantoms this night. It's pretty late already. The moon is um, far up. You might have to hang out another night to actually get some. Uh, let's quickly tear down boobies. Uh, <laughs> Wait, temporary home. Oh, really? Is that so? The waterlocked stair that was blocked off below. Okay, it updates to the side, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. This is a stair and it's kind of solid. That's how they did it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. Okay, but it's good to know. This is a small little detail, so with. It's just a stair like that facing upward you can actually make a really nice all right good to know good to know you can make a floating water source there if you want to interesting but it will flow out on the sides which then makes sense because yeah if you look at the shape of the stair yeah this is small quirks i was aware of it now as i encountered it again but it's good playing survival like that and you know Seeing these little quirks. Alright, so I would say it doesn't look like Phantom Night tonight. I'm gonna spend another one um, waiting, another day and another night, and see if we can catch some. Cleared out most of the space here, the mushroom the caps that were floating around here. We took them out, but I replanted uh, at least a dozen um, for each mushroom I took out, so our eco balance should be good. And, you know, it was the ca caps anyways. I think Zizuma was the one that uh, came here right at the beginning of the season or something. Somebody told me in the comments. In any case, I'm gonna wait and hopefully we'll get a phantom. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait. Oh, I was just chilling and the phantoms came. Can't a man chill for a second? Wait, wait, relax. Oh, I was just talking to the Psycraft guys in chat. Then I heard the noise and it was too late. They already got me. Man. Okay. I need to get up, get some of my stuff back. It's still splattered around here. This, this. Tools. Why does it have to be out in the water like that? Oh, no! Yeah, this is a bit of a have a problem right now a slight problem we just need I mean we need my tools and the trident that's the thing the light try yeah oh okay 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 let me get out of the water it's getting daytime already this is all this didn't go so well okay we got that stuff back we got the tools Okay, the shovel is still out there. Do we have food? Yeah. <sighs> Oof. Don't do that. Come in here. I see my stuff there. I need to be careful not to despawn it. Okay, this guy is coming. Yeah, yeah. Good angle. Ah, oh, they're starting to burn. Okay, they, they showed up late, man. But okay, we got Phantom Knights now. We can try again next night. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, there is some stuff, my shovel and so on. My name tags I had prepared. Ah, uh, did said I've sleep, man. Dude, man, is it so hard? Ah, uh, that's what happened. Yeah, now he knows. Yeah, he didn't know. He just joined in a very stupid moment. All right, but we'll we'll try again. It was not it was also not a good start for us to die there. So yeah, there's that. Uh, wait, let me see. Shovels, tridents, tools, name tags. Okay, we'll try again. We'll try again. Okay, we got them phantoms. There, one guy. I'm here. There. They just hit hard without armor. That's just a fact. Ooh. Man, it took me forever to get some. Spent like several nights. There is only one. I was trying different constructions here, how I could lure them in. He needs to he needs to come down on me straight. Okay, now he's approaching. Oh, okay, we can punch him in potentially. Ah. Oh, if he touches me, he will kill me. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got a phantom too. I was just talking to Zedaf about the lack of phantoms I was having. Crap, that was close. Oh! Yes! Alright. We got him in. That was our first goal. So now we need to name him and try to trap him. Are we healthy? Yes, okay, let's go. Whew. It's stuck right in here. Come over here, guy. Yeah, kind of like that. It's all right. It's up there now. Come down. First of all, we need to name it. Okay. I'm pretty sure we got it. Then we should block off the portal so it can't escape from here. Then... We have it trapped in here for now. Wait, what? Yeah, it's still around. Okay. We wanted to have it in this space over there. Can this fit through here? Why is it trying to go? I mean, if we trap it up there, that'll be also okay. I'd rather have it here, though. No, 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 no. Go away from the portal. Yeah, it definitely has issues hitting me here. Okay, let's give it some more space fly into right here and then we block it off come here come on <laughs> yes perfect yes okay it's in there now and it should stay around we got our first phantom trapped so we need to definitely improve our setup here if we want to trap more. Maybe have a bigger portal on the outside and whatnot, but this was a proof of concept. So let's see if we can keep him around. 
But normally they should despawn after two minutes. And if you name him, they stick around. So later, if you want to bring him out, that should be easier. But yeah, if you want to handle them, you need to do it proper. Okay, one thing I want to create a bit of a bigger glass cage here. So we can look at him properly. Nice, we caught us a phantom. I'm the phantom lord now. The king of phantoms. Ah. Yep, there it is. Still there. Carefully, let's do this carefully here so it doesn't escape. It was a hassle to get it in there. Oh, the hitbox is in the way. The hitbox is in the way. Back, back. Uh, yep, just said it. Now it's stuck in this one, one by one. I don't like this at all. Don't want it to suffocate. Okay. How do I get it out of there? Probably not. That means we need we need to make its cage bigger. Now let's do this. Get out of the hole. I'm scared it suffocates. So if we build the cage, we need to build it up right here. It's still in there. Mm. I think if I break this block, it might get out. Yep, it's free. Okay, we need to close this gap up there. Okay, and what we want is the glass blocks back here. Go away from here. No, don't always. Does it track me? It's really interesting. I never had a chance to really observe the behavior of these guys properly. Now oh, he, he seems to track us here and there. But it's not really, really doing much. Side of trying to flap up to the ceiling. Okay. Now we got it trapped in there properly. Can we cover these glass blocks? Oh, wrong pickaxe. Nice, okay. So if we can catch one, we can catch more. Then we can have a whole freaking dark cave full of phantoms, you know, for everybody who wants to get a good scare in. That'll be nice. Okay, wait. I want to do one thing. We cover that, well, at least break it out. Okay, but I think, yeah, I mean, this guy is staying about, not despawning on us or anything weird. He's in there for quite some time now and he should be gone already. <laughs> it's kind of cool. All right, I'd say we call it an end for this episode. We called us a phantom. That's pretty cool, I would say. And uh, yeah, again, had a lot of fun in this episode. Hope you liked the dragon build. And yeah, for everybody who's interested in supporting me directly, by the way, I have a Patreon. Check it out. Soon we're gonna launch our World Tour community server. Quite a bunch of people there. And yeah, feel free to hop on and be ready there on the Discord already. We're having a good time, that's for sure. So yeah, thanks for watching, my friends. i see you next time. Bye.